Hey, groovy guys and gals, it's me again, Barry with Barry's A-Track and Classic Car Radio up here. This time we're demonstrating a, a, a somewhat naked unit out of a, a 70 Dodge Super B. This comes from Hector in Shorewood, Illinois. Uh, and uh, this unit uh, needed quite a bit of work. It was actually converted previously by the, uh, the other conversion company that no longer offers conversion products, and there's kind of a reason for that because it's back in here for a conversion to uh, Aurora Design products uh, specifically requested by the customer. Um, so uh, the FM stereo light was already in place from the other conversion. I just rewired it to the new conversion and it's got uh, Bluetooth and USB, aux input, and uh, I guess that's about it. Let's go ahead and turn it on. I have it set to FM at the moment, I think. Okay, we'll just run it down the dial. Stop. For clearance from China to trap leaders, Dawson's expected to... ...world situations... Ninety-two miles per hour, and I would. Five FM KYC. That's heckle. Okay, we're going to go to FM. We do that by turning the unit off, then right back on within about half a second. So here we go. Oh, I'm sorry. We're going to go to AM. Okay, off on. Okay, now we're on AM, and we might get two weak stations at this end of the dial. Active real estate investor. Here one. one I, I guess the other one's not going to come in today. So we'll go to the strong one. Okay, there's our strong station. While we're on talk radio, let's demonstrate the balance and fader. Okay, uh, radio balance to the right, balance left, left, right. Okay, and since we have four speakers operation, we have a front rear fader now. We activate that by turning our tone control twice upward. So here we go. Fader adjust. adjust. So now the same control Under is adjusting our front rear speaker balance. A new nation okay, I'm going to center him, let him time out. Fader okay, let's try the Bluetooth. We're going to make sure the Bluetooth goes into pairing mode. We do that by giving our volume control two turns upwards. Bluetooth ready to pair. Okay, so Bluetooth ready to pair. So naturally, I don't do all that on the video. I just make sure it goes into pairing mode, indicating that it's working properly. 90 seconds later, uh, she'll come back on saying pairing not completed. Um, while we're waiting for that, let's check the USB. Make sure it plays. What your country can do for you. Okay, pull the stick. Radio comes back. Okay, let's let's do the A track. Got some Neil Sedaka here. Hurry on up. Waste no time. Come on in. Switching tracks a bunch of times here. Okay, we're at the end of a song here, so good time to make sure there's no cross talk between songs and there's not. Wake up and live. Alright, it takes care of that. I'm gonna test our test our dial light, make sure that flashes on and off in response to my command, and that's it. Everything's working. She's ready to go back. Now, one thing I'll say about uh, about these radios on on some of the radios, uh, the Bluetooth function will not work when you're using the A track. Uh, now that should never be a problem, you know, uh, because if you're listening to music on your phone, you're not listening to the A-Track. Uh, it would only limit your ability to make and take calls, uh, you know, hands-free with the Bluetooth function. And uh, so uh, there, 
there can't be a tape in the unit when you're using the Bluetooth function. Uh, and that's because uh, my preamp that I replaced the original preamp with, it's got a lot of gain and the Bluetooth, uh, puts out a beacon, which causes a lot of interference with that preamp. So I, I'd rather, uh, I'd rather not have the Bluetooth working during the A-Track function than have this continuous high-pitched whine while you're using the A-Track function. There's just no way around that um, because of the size of the unit, limited space. Uh, we have to mount things sometimes close together, and uh, so this is the result of that. So um, on that uh, happy note, I'm Barry with Barry's A-Track and Classic Car Radio Repair. My website and phone number are in the description below, and I do ask all customers to visit my website before calling me with 15 minutes worth of questions about my options and prices and turn times and all that. I just can't remember my entire catalog when I've got my hands in a customer's unit and I'm talking on the phone to another prospective customer. So please, uh, please get most of your information from my website and then call me just to make sure that I'm a good guy, make sure that you packed it right and all that stuff. Uh, and uh, so thank you very much for watching and listening, guys, and we will see you next time. Oh, and this comes from a Hector in Shorewood, Illinois. Thank you, Hector, for your business.